So when we're shooting these 22 matches, uh, it's a lot of fun to get these skinny targets. You can do some different things with them, do at different ranges. Um, they're just a lot of fun to see what your rifle is capable of, see what you're capable of. The problem is, is that no matter how small the target, we have to mount it somehow so the shooter can see it. So this target, which becomes normally is a challenge, becomes a lot easier because everybody's gonna shoot right for this hook. You've got all these spots, you're gonna hit something in there almost guaranteed, and you're gonna get your impact. Uh, it, it's a game, it's a sport, we're doing it to have fun, but we wanna win, and so nine times out of 10, we're just gonna shoot right for here. We're not gonna take this harder shot just for the sake of it because it's on the target and it's gonna count. The solution I have to that is over here. Right here, I've got a gravity popper with a new shield on it. So this shield just bolts right onto the side, it fits in place on all of my current uh, or all of my existing gravity poppers and it covers up that bolt so now we've got a target where we have to shoot it where i intended it to be up on the target so now i can do some smaller target sizes shapes things like that and still be able to have it perform the way i want it to uh, the shooter will be forced to engage it the way i want him to everybody's on the same playing field and uh allows to do some different things so these are up on the website now you can go ahead and check it out in action there we go got it nice there we go there we go i'll hit the shield here and see there you go so you can definitely see that the shield doesn't make it move. You can tell the difference between hitting the target, hitting the shield. Uh, you can check this out and a lot of other really cool stuff at atlastargetworks.com.